Okay. Got another one here from that Tasters pack that I had from my last review. This time, I'm going to take a look at the uh, Griffin Ale Extra Blonde, or their Extra Pale Ale. Um, the red was delicious. See how the, uh, the blonde stands up. Crack the cover open. It is a 5% ABV beer from Rue saint bois Montreal, Quebec. Uh, it is... Griffin Extra Pale Ale has a tempered, full-bodied taste that makes it extremely appealing to beer drinkers. This ale is as faith is a faithful copy of the fine Quebec ales of the 1940s and 50s. It's golden color and valued by those with a taste in the finer things in life. Ingredients, water, malted barley, toasted wheat, and hops. Okay, so it's got wheat in it. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah, if it's anything like the, the, the red... It's, um, from what I've heard, it's a, uh, it's like an, uh, a budget kind of beer up there. Uh, pitched to, uh, kind of like a lower quality than the rest of the, the St. Bra line. Um, yeah, let's cut the chit-chat and get right to the pour. Woo, look at that. Two finger head. Bubbles give it kind of a. They're going away, but they're kind of dying off into like a creamy appearance. Bigger than average. The beer itself is kind of like a, like a a, a golden yellow. Almost kind of orangey in the in the top where it's thicker. Yeah, it's, it looks pretty nice actually. It's. Yeah, that that uh, that head's turning into more of a pillowy appearance as it goes down. Uh, yeah, let's give it a sniff. I almost don't smell anything at all. It might be the overabundance of head right now. Like very faint malt, to toasted like toffee. Not toasted, but just toffee. It's very faint. Um, I'm almost not able to pick up on the smell at all. Take a look at another look at the smell when I'm doing a little review. Now, let's give it a taste. semi-pronounced bitterness in the back very mild touches of hop it's creamy it's got a creamy kind of like an almost a cream kind of flavor to it with hints of to, to like uh, with hints of uh, to like toffee to the taste, um, corn in the aftertaste. There's corn notes apparent in the aftertaste. But yeah, it's kind of like a light. As far as mouthfeel goes, it's a light drinking beer. Looks like it's going to leave some pretty decent lacing as it goes down too. Compared to its red brother that I just reviewed, it's, uh, it's definitely more bitter. That's pretty good. Yeah. It doesn't quite as blow me right as, away as the rest of the other one, but it's pretty good. And definitely worth picking up, worth drinking. I'd have to give this one three, 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 three out of five, three point five out of five, maybe. It's good. If you see it, if you see that taster's pack, just grab it. Hold on to it. I really wish we had those in New Brunswick. Yeah, three out of five.